There's 104 days of summer vacation And school comes along just to end it So the annual problem for our generation Is finding a good way to spend it Like me Special report. Right, so I'm out here in Healdsburg in California. Um, I just wanted to interrupt the video to add a little bit of story to this. So about two to three years ago, I started my photography and filmmaking, and I planned this trip that I'm on right now to the T. And I thought about everything. I thought about the locations, the shots, the music, everything that I was going to do and the order in which I was going to do it. And when I realized that the things I needed and the ways that I planned it didn't go as I thought they would, that actually got me quite annoyed for a while. And I thought I couldn't pull off what, what is supposed to be my greatest video. Yeah, so basically what I'm trying to say is if things don't go the way you want them to, don't let that put you down and try to work with what you have, which is exactly what I've done, actually. So this whole video, although it was technically planned, isn't. So all the shots you're seeing, I kind of semi-planned it, but most of it isn't, it's all improvised. And actually by not following my plan, I've recorded and taken some of the best pictures that I never planned to take in the first place. So let's jump back to New York where this whole trip started and show you how I got here to Hillsburg, California. It all started with an open door helicopter ride over downtown Manhattan. It's safe to say it was one of the best experiences I've ever had in my life. Next, it was a ride through Central Park with the folks over at Boosted. And trust me, those things go fast. The next day, it was off to Brooklyn, where I met up with two creators. Tyler and Apu. Later that evening, we headed over to Times Square. And it wasn't long before I met up with the dudes over at the New York Film Academy. From rooftopping in Chinatown, to just generally exploring the city with the new mates I just made. New York is great, but what made it amazing was the people that I met and the experiences that I shared. Oh, and I haven't even told you about the hyperlapses I got. The city just had such an amazing energy to it. And to be surrounded by like-minded individuals who wanted to achieve the same dream, it just made the experience that much better. Oh, and of course, I stopped off with 368. But all good things come to an end, and so did the New York part of this trip. Next, it was off to California. One of my mates, Finn. Fun fact, he was actually my first dorm mate. And the views there? Well, I'll let you look. From exploring downtown San Francisco, to flying drones across Seacliff. Some of the best hot chocolate in my life. We even got to see the weekend play live. Then we 
headed across the Golden Gate Bridge to Healdsburg. Where we had our fair share of fun, riding one wheels and driving ATKs. To go to both coasts of America in one trip left me with a new sense of awe and wonder. I made some memories and friends that I'll never forget. And it makes me excited for what my next journey will take me. Till next time. It's here. Click. Click the subscribe. Here, click. click. Notification bell click right up the there. Bell. And then the <laughs> like. Our Just previous video will be right <laughs> Our down previous video here. is here. You got it, bros. Oh! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Dude.